Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Building with Sausage. This is Mythical Sausage here. Hello, what is up? How is everybody doing? <laughs> Man, today we're back again. We're going to be doing another really cool tutorial. This one is coming also fresh from our single player world. I'm going to modify it though, make it a little bit more special for the tutorial. But we did a really, really cool little diagonal house. It's a little farmhouse. It came out so, so cool. We made like four variants in our single player world. So I want to bring one here uh, as a tutorial just to show you guys how I do it. Maybe you can incorporate it in one of your worlds it's gonna be fun uh, so i'm gonna go ahead and start that up right now and we're using our boy jermsey boys pack so if you guys want to download this pack is amazing my favorite vanilla in the world best pack ever uh check it out in <laughs> this awesome blocks right here so i'm gonna put a link in the description also there's a link to the playlist that we've done in this world we have over 170 builds right now and counting in this world we're gonna be doing a world download very very soon too for this whole place so look out for that but let's start building so we're gonna build it fresh right here right now in front of you guys and we're going to be using a bunch of the stones here. We're going to use cobble. We're going to use some so regular stone brick, some spruce, and some stone, uh, well, some actual brick brick. Uh, some very beautiful brick. The best brick texture. We're going to put a little uh, chimney fireplace inside here. So, let's start building. So, hi. Oh, that's me. Hi. hi. Oh, glowing sausage. All right, let's do it. So, uh, let's start out with an outline. So, this is going to be a diagonal. This is how I do my little diagonals, a little tiny version. It's going to be a small farmhouse. So, let's start. So, I'm going to go here with a cobble base. We're just gonna go up one, two, three, and we're gonna do four and five. So a five right here, perfect, okay? Now, you can pick whatever diagonal direction you want. We can go that way, that way, this way. I'm thinking about bringing it at an angle this direction, going out that way, and that is just asking to be built. Uh, I'm gonna go upgrade that soon. Okay, now, let's start this up. So right here in this corner, I'm gonna go uh, down th uh, two more. So one and two, actually let's do three. So one, two, three here. Now I'm gonna take it down by two right there and we're gonna also take it down by two right there. So it's gonna be a small little farmhouse. So right here, four, two, two. Perfect. Now, right here we had a one, two, three, four, five and then we're gonna do this. We're gonna take it down right here, one, two, three, one, two, and one and two. So it's a little, tiny little space, but perfect for what we're going for. And that's a little little diagonal for you. There's different ways to do the diagonals, but this is the one that I'm going with this style. We're going to try a bunch coming up in other tutorials. But this is a very simple starter diagonal house. There we go. We just named the episode. Perfect. Uh, so right here, I'm going to take this down on this corner, one extra, and close it off right there. So that's your little close off spot. Super simple, super easy. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna lift all this up with cobblestone at least by four. So this is already a one, this is a two, three, and you know what? I think even three might just do it. Let's just do three. Let's make it nice and quaint and tiny. So three up, and then we're gonna turn it. We're gonna also just do all the way, all the way, all the way from one side to the next by three. And then we're gonna be tweaking the this little corner pieces to have a nice little roof. So we have it already by three, and that's looking awesome. Now, let's, let's work on this roof. So for this one, I'm gonna also go up with cobblestone, and we're gonna go up one extra on this end, another one, and one more. So a little tiny little roof. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. So one extra, one more, and one more, and it has this cool little peak to it. Now, before we even get to the rest of this thing, we're gonna texture it just a little bit with some stone bricks. So, uh, it's, you can also texture it with a bunch of other different blocks, maybe some granite, maybe some even maybe even some andesite, maybe even some, uh, some regular smooth stone. But for this particular build, we're just gonna sprinkle in a little bit of brick, and I love what this texture pack does. Germ, you, di you did it again, man, look at this. It, with Optifine and connected textures, we're just having that nice little bl bleed in from one side to the next. Look, it's so cool. Now, the way I'm doing this, just random. You could do it, follow exactly how I do it, or just randomly pepper it around. Make it look cool. Just don't make it look like this. Don't do a big old checkerboard pattern because that's not, don't even do that. If anything, yeah, there we go. Leave some, some spots open. Uh, make it look nice though. Just a little bit of a sprinkling of texture right there. There we go, something simple like that. Let's see what it looks like. Let's take a quick little, little tiny spin, and it's looking pretty cool. I like that, looking nice. So, next up, 
let's work on the actual corners right here and these little corners right here on these roofs you can work it so many different ways i know a lot of people also might use walls cobble walls going all the way around like this maybe some walls on some sides maybe some stairs facing different directions there's so many different options for this the way i did it in my other world let me just show you let me get a wall let's grab this wall and i put a wall here here and then on this side i went ahead and i mixed in either uh with cobble or with uh, the regular stone doing something like that and on the very top the tippity tippity top let's grab a slab and it could be either cobble or it could be uh just stone either one for this one let's just put uh, a little a little cobble right there look at that really cool roof uh but you can do different things again these are other versions you can do something like this also just play around you know for inspiration you can do anything you can even seal it up like this regular stairs all the way up you could do something like that you can even do slabs on top just little bits of different inspiration for you guys but just play around do what you like have fun uh so this goes ooh, wrong thing <laughs> we're gonna put one of these let's grab one of those and let me actually grab the other slab so we can have a little bit of a different variation between the two there we go so that's your little corner little stairs uh going like that and your little slab and that is both sides of each roof set up now let's work on the diagonal part right in the middle this is the hard part so for this one i'm going to be using some spruce and we're going to go up simple just like this just like so just like that now watch this this is how i do these things and this is easy if you want to do it like this and then you come back in here and we're going to tweak it so right here if you see that you see there's little gaps in between little gaps like this you can always fix it by just twisting your stair so we're going to twist the stairs just like that on the corners looking awesome now over here let's do the same thing so we're coming down like that now this one what we could do is put a little stair right there and then we're going to twist that take it out and that's how you can do those little spots right there and this one also let's put a little block a little placeholder drop it and there you go so that's that side done right in the middle we're gonna come in with your slab right there one right here and placeholder and one right there and that is your little diagonal roof look how cool now let's do the same thing on the other side we'll do it again so we're going down 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 like so now let's go again down down this way and then we're going also let's see placeholder and down this way and then you see all the holes right so let's modify so twist it twist it we're gonna placeholder block it so that's not a good placeholder oh, that's a good oh that's fine we'll come in there and take it out <laughs> there's your little placeholder and then do one more we can do a placeholder right there and another little uh, i gotta do a double placeholder. there you go and a little twist right there perfect i fell i'm fine and let's take that little piece out and there you go there's your little diagonal on this side that's your little diagonal on this side super cool we just twisted it up just a little bit that looks awesome i love it now let's work on more details now that we have the roof up now that we have all the foundations set up let's pick spots that we could do a little bit of modifications little add-ons so you can make this house a little more unique so the next little piece of modifying we're gonna do is let's pick a spot for a door so for a door you can go anywhere you can put a door here you can put a door on the side you can put a door on this side anywhere you want i'm just gonna go with a simple door right over this end right here super simple uh and then for this one we're gonna go with a little upside down stair and that's your little entrance right there uh, for me i like putting a little bit of cobble or stone underneath so it looks a little bit better and then that's your door now another thing we could do is adding windows adding chimneys adding a bunch of stuff so let's pick a spot for the chimney uh so many different places we can go with this i'm thinking we can even put it right here in the front we can hide it in the back i'm thinking let's put it in the front so we can have a lot of interest right in the front side so for this one i'm gonna knock let's see i'm gonna knock this little piece out right here we're gonna go in like this we're gonna go in by two let's take this up right here so this is one two three four on this one let's go up five six seven perfect let's grab a stair and that's gonna go right there on the side let's grab that cobble wall and then on the tippity top let's grab a flower pot and we're gonna put that right on the top it's gonna look cool watch that perfect that looks so cool now on the bottom just to add a little bit more detail i say we do this let's put a block here and let's put a little stair on the side like this let's put a block here and a little stair on the side like that in the middle right here what i want to do is put like a little flower box get some trap door and you know what let's grab the acacia one i haven't used this one in a while and we can just go pop up do a little thing like that grab some flowers let's see let's get some some of these these are lovely let's drop that guy and that guy and that is looking so so good so what do you think so far so good we're doing it we're doing it how about we add even a little window 
right there. That looks awesome. So you can kind of see through the glass and you see the flowers there. So let's get some glass. And this one I'm gonna go with full panes. Um, so for this one, how about we use some yellow? I love me that yellow glass. And I didn't even grab it. It's fine. Uh, let's use that yellow glass. It's so nice. So let's pop that in there. Lovely little yellow glass. Let's also grab some trapdoor of the spruce variety and do a little overhang over the top just like that. Look, it's so good. On this side is looking awesome. Look at all this space though. Even though it's, it's a tiny house, we got a lot of space. So we have this front part pretty much locked down with awesomeness. So let's do some more things. How about that? On this side, let's do a window. We're going to knock down. Let's knock down three. Uh, let's grab the glass again. This one we're going with panes. So we're going with the yellow glass pane. Let's go one, two, and three. Big window. Uh, let's also grab some of this trap door. And on this side, let's go like that. Trap door on one end. We can even have it open or closed. It doesn't matter. I think that side just looks perfect. Now, we can do another little flower box right here. Grab the acacia again. And we have another little flower box. And you know what's kind of messing with me? Um, this trap door because now we can't put any flowers we had that there. So how about we do this? Take that little piece out. Let's do a double. We're modifying, it's fine. Boom. And that looks a lot better and then we could put flowers here. And you know what, I love this flower so much. Let's grab this flower right here. Let's go bum bum bum. Lovely, let's just let's mix it up. This is a little bit of the, I didn't grab it. You, you're hard to grab, hitbox thing. There you go, perfect. So we have this going right there and that's looking so good. So, so good. Now, on this end, we could do a couple little extra bits. How about we have like a little, uh, like an outdoor uh, little seating area garden kind of thing. So for this one, let's work on some details. I'm gonna make a little side entrance here. Let's do this. I wanna make like a little organic looking section. So for now, let's just grab the cobble and do this. So let's go up by two, go up by one, take it down by two, take it down by two more, take it down by one, take it down by one on that side and then we are gonna leave this open let's leave that just open i don't want to put two doors because this is so small so let's just have a little entrance here we could put like a little gate right in the back with some spruce and then we have a nice little area you can sit down and have fun now let's grab some of these lovelies here let's see let's mix and match this so let's grab actually you know what let's just do it with uh with the stone so something like this every other one looks really nice and then on the spaces in between that uh, we can go ahead and maybe even get some stair action and do something like this let's make it look cool so a little stair here let's do a stair like that put a stair here and how about a stair like that so it gives us this cool little look I love that now for more details let's put a stair here stair there let's grab this cobble wall put one here and that it looks awesome. Let's put one more there. So that gives you a little backyard area so you can sit down and have fun. Uh, here we can put a little seating area. Let's get some stairs. Uh, how about we use some dark oak? Uh, let's put a little seat right about, you know, we can have some breakfast right here. Uh, how about we do it? Hmm, what's a good spot? I'm thinking right over, right over here might be a good little spot. How about we do this? Oh, I got it. We put a stair here, a stair here put a fence here on the side and this is like a nice little spot here let's put a little pressure plate and it's cool you have enough space in both sides to hang out boom right there lovely oh that looks so cool and then little things you could do here let's add some uh, let's get that trap door back let's do like a little flower box over actually you know what let's use these guys so a little flower box right here Perfect. Let's get some. Let's get some new flowers now. Let's get some of this and a little bit of. Actually, let's keep that white theme right there. So the blue and the white right there, looking cool. Uh, we can even add. Uh, oh man, so many things. How about actual natural bush bush? Let's add some oak right here. Maybe a little, a little oak right here on the side, just kind of on the corner. Maybe another one right here. Uh, how about we add some tall, let's see, where are the tall boys? Uh, there we go, a large fern or something like that. Uh, let's see, where we can, we can add a little fern right there. Oh, that looks so cool. I don't want to really overdo it. Maybe we could do something like, mm, there's two, maybe a tall grass on that one. Let's see, where's the tall grass? There we go. A little tall grass right there. Maybe another little tall grass right there. And then we could just use some path blocks. How about that? We just do a little bit of path block. We could do a little bit of coarse dirt. Oh, that's not how you spell coarse dirt. There you go. <laughs> a little path block right about there. 
let's see, something like that. And a little bit of coarse dirt underneath that. Oh, we'll, we'll put that back, don't worry. Something like that and something like that. And then we can get the fern, give me that fern back. There you go. Boop, there it is. Look, something like this, super cool. Super, super cool. Uh, I want one little grass though. Gra grass, a little tiny grass, a baby grass. We're gonna put a baby grass right there. Oh, look how cute, <laughs> that's awesome. So something like this, you know, you can still modify it by adding a bunch more uh, terrain and texture down here. But you know what, we're just playing around with shapes. That looks awesome. Something like, oh, I just messed everything up that just happened there, but that's, you know what, that's fine. <laughs> there we go. So we have this nice little garden in the back. Oh man, maximizing the space. We have the door here, let's grab the door. And drop the door right inside here. Let's see, right there, boom, lovely. Is there anything else that we could do? How about this? Over there on this side, let's add another window. We're gonna go with the same uh, two high there so we could add another flower box. This is a very floral area. I love it with all my heart. Uh, so we're going right here, bam, bam. Let's do a little uh, stair right about here. There we go. And we have this area. Did I put a, a stair on the tippity top? I didn't, you know what? I'm going to. Let's do, give it a little more, uh, more detail on that. Let's put a stair there and a stair there. Got it done. Another little flower box action. And then we're gonna cover this up just like so, like so, and like so. And let's grab some of those flowers. I love this one. Let's mix this time the blue and that beautiful magenta one. That is so cool. Uh, trap doors also on this side. Let's put it on this end right here. Perfect, so we have that locked down, looking amazing. Uh, we can also do a little more details to this. Maybe we could do like a little overhang right here like this on the front door. Grab a fence and we could do this. So grab a fence, let's grab that, let's grab this wall, do wall, wall, uh, ooh, wrong thing, fence, fence. Little overhang on the tippity top right here just so we can give a little bit of, a, of some details right over this door. And I think that's it. What, what, what else can we do? I don't wanna do too much. We have a little garden in the back. We have flower boxes all the way around. Oh, looking so, so cool on the interior. Uh, the only thing that I would really do here, since it's not a lot of space, I could do a little interior with you guys. I know a lot of people always ask me to do it. Uh, so we could do a little bit, some peppering of flooring like this. Let's mix and match like that. Make it random. Looking very cool like that. Perfect floor. Let's get a torch. Let's get some of this stuff out of here. Let's let's do some stuff. So let's put a little torch. Let's see, like right here looks like a good spot. Actually, right there looks like a good spot. The ceiling, I wouldn't even really mess with that too much. Uh, on this side, you know what you could do? Let's grab, take that out. Let's grab a furnace. I'm gonna put a furnace right over on this end like this, looking perfect. Uh, on this bottom part, let's add a crafting bench. Let's add a little crafting right there. So it's like your little kitchenette area. Uh, let's grab a cauldron. Let's put the cauldron. You know what? I'll put the cauldron on this side. Uh, and then, ooh, that's looking so good. Let's grab some trap door. Uh, right above this, I might do a little trap door. Let's grab a chest. Let's grab a brewing stand. Let's grab also while we're here, let's get a bed. Uh, let's get a let's get a nice old black bed. I love those. So we got this. We got this right there. Little kitchen area. Uh, here we you know what we could do. Kind of close that off. So it looks like a that looks so cool. Kind of little separation between what's happening here and what's happening over here. Uh, you can even close that off with one of those. Uh, oh, that looks so good. Uh, we can even add another chest down there. Oh, that looks good right there. Lovely. Uh, so right here, then we can have. Oh, actually, you know what? How about we do this? Let's keep it all together right here. That is your kitchen section. Now over here, we can do the bed. So let's do a little bed right in the corner. Uh, let's see, ooh, actually right there in the corner. Let's grab another crafting bench. Let's grab another chest. So we can do separation. Like this will be your cooking stuff. This will be your clothes, armor, weapons and stuff. That's looking awesome. Let's grab some uh, bookshelves. Let's grab, a, let's see, a dark oak stair. And let's do a little, little seating area here. And you put a little stair right there, lovely. On top of this, let's just grab, I don't know, let's get just a flower pot or whatever. And we put a little flower on top of that thing. Let's grab, I love this allium, so good. Uh, so a little flower pot, a little allium. That is broken, that is so broken. How did that even break? Um, let's grab another thing. Uh, let's do, bum and bum. There, okay, that'll work. I don't know what happened there. Uh, let's get some paintings. 
let's also get uh some more detail stuff so a big painting right there oh i don't want that one that is beautiful uh let's get some carpet how about a little purple carpet why not let's get another torch on this end let's also get some banners and this will be cool like little uh shades uh and it looks awesome right here a little uh, look at that there we go oh it looks so good let's do two more on this side so right there and there looking awesome these are the gray ones looking so so good uh let's get some item frames let's also cover these up do a little trick trick right there boom i love doing that uh there we go so that's looking really really cool look at all this stuff we can fit into this little space uh, so that painting looking awesome on this end we could do um, You can almost do like a little Storage area. So what if we just do some get some note blocks? Uh, let's get some chests Do a little stack up here of extra storage I can't wait for the actual barrel from 114 so we can actually st put stuff in there Hopefully you can put stuff in there uh, over here. Let's see. I don't want to put too much of a crazy stuff So let's do a little more carpet. Maybe this time we can use some cyan get a little more colorful in here Right here in your entrance. How about just a little corner piece like that looking awesome And then we can even add if you want even more crazy storage uh, Up top here, but I don't know. I don't know. It really depends if you guys want to really pack it in with detail But there you go. We got a bunch of storage here uh, we can even add another little painting on this side. Oh, that no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. I hate it when it does that. Hold on. Oh, I broke stuff. I didn't mean to do any of that. Uh, we're fine. I just want to do something like this. There we go. And, um, yeah, that, that's gone. Let's, <laughs> let's see if we can replace it. Uh, so, right, there we go. Perfect. And that's it. A little bit of detail. Some big bulk stores on the side. Extra stuff on the, on the corner. Little bedroom action. A little table. A, a kitchen you got plenty of space that's where you're gonna do your cooking oh perfect 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 i'm done let's go let's take a little spin ah oh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this one modified our original one from our single player world looking very cool interior exterior seating areas man this is a perfect little starter house and a perfect little uh, uh nice uh house you can just plop in your world and did i mention is diagonal that's right, it's the hang. <laughs> All right, hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Uh, let me know if there's other types of builds you want me to do. I might be doing a bunch more. Uh, on Actually, probably this week and next week. A bunch more builds coming through. A lot of them from single player. We're going to do some actual custom ones that have you haven't even seen yet. That I got on a list that are ready to go out. <laughs> but I'm out of here for now. Thank you everybody for watching. I'll catch you on the next episode of Building with a Sausage. Goodbye.